Hi everybody, welcome to the little launch box video. Hope you're well, hope you're fine, hope you're enjoying your new year so far. Uh, we're going to make another video for launch box. Uh, so first of all, let's get started. Uh, what it's regarding is Microsoft Xbox Classic, the very first Xbox. Uh, as you know, I've done previous videos based upon CXBX. Now, due to one of our followers, uh, big shout out for him, Dan, uh, I decided to get involved in this other Xbox emulator uh, called, just find it on the screen, uh, Xmu. Um, you know what? It's actually a better emulator to use. So I advise everybody to use this emulator. The files you're going to need are those four Xbox BIOS, Xbox HD Qual 2, uh, Xbox MAME, and Xbox Win Release. That's the emulator itself. Uh, I'll put a link into the page, which is there where you can get those links, uh, and they're all downloadable there. And once you set that up, extract it into a folder. As you can see, I keep my launch box uh, in, a, in a separate folder on an external hard drive in the emulators. I'll just put it down as Xbox down there, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, once you do that, set your own folder up, because I've been using, obviously, the uh, CBX uh, which has always been the kind of go-to emulator but the XMU one is probably the best I'll just minimize that for now uh, so what you need to do once you've extracted everything there uh, into a folder of its own there you go that's the contents now where I've always come up problems with this is you come to this screen uh, until you've set all your default options so what you need to do is go to system with all them bios that you've just put in set each one there there uh, the eprom will do itself set your controller up obviously there uh, and obviously memory pack etc uh, but you'll come across this which i find always never used to work for me and thinking well i've put a game in why won't it load so you load game so you put a game in uh final, final flight and light round three and you think nothing happens and it's always kind of been like that for me until I realize you do one thing and that one thing is you've got to reset it so what happens is when you exit that disk is still in so when you restart it it'll start that game up but when you use launch box it, it will set this up already for you so it'll just instantly boot to it and that never happened before for me a sports it's in the game I'll just stop it again exit uh, yeah so that so it's a pretty damn good emulator it pretty much has everything working for it so eject this uh, just to ignore uh, so you're back to insert disk so yeah once you've got all that set up and running you'll be right so just make sure you go to system and then add them in the most popular bomb bio to use uh, I'll show you which one it is it'll be on the list is the 20 debug the 4527 debug that's the default bio to set it to so once you've set it all up there it's straightforward into into, into launch box it's very much open launch box add emulator so tools import sorry manage emulators uh, you'll see mine in there somewhere XMU, that's it so click add, I'll click edit but we still meet at the same screen so what you need to do is make sure it says the same as your outside folder so make sure it says the same as that uh, put it in there do your application in that folder which you know where it is uh, just click down there just to show you for the sake of showing you go up uh, into emulators, scroll down to Xbox, and you, there you go, and that's the default in there. Uh, you can put that dash full screen dash DVD path. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't think that makes any relevant difference because you set that on the actual emulator itself uh, at full screen. So, but by all means, put that in there dash full screen dash dvd underscore path 
in there. Uh, so yeah, platforms, you, you can set it as default if you like. I've been selecting it off one at a time and see what works well. <coughs> but yeah, make sure it says Microsoft Xbox and extract ROMs if you want to and multi-disc. There's one or two games that are multi-disc, aren't there? So yeah, once you've done that, you're all good to go. And games that didn't work before, like uh, Forza Motorsport, now certainly do work. I'll click on it. Might not work because I had the emulator open, didn't I? So I'll just close it down for a minute and try and do that again. There you go. My bad last time I had it open. And if you've got an already an Xbox 360 or an Xbox pad or a Microsoft one, Xbox One pad, then you're already configured, you're good to go. So all you do is click the A button there and it loads Forza Motorsport. So a lot of the games that didn't work with CBX now do work with this one and they are actually, it's an easy emulator to work now, you know how to do it. There is no default quit, you just have to click up top there, that menu stays up there and just click exit. So yeah, so that's how you do that and I mean, to be fair, it's probably a much better emulator than the CXBX one. And the compatibility is a lot better too. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll wrap it up and we'll leave it there. Uh, so don't forget to hit the like, subscribe buttons. It's always important. Uh, and like I said, this video was brought about by Dan. Uh, wanting me to help him set up CXBX. So I found something better for you. Uh, so for the next time, take care.